this little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. All right, the first thing we need to do is we need to remove this bolt right here. This is the axle bolt, and uh, we need to take it off. I think that requires a 22 millimeter wrench. I don't have one, so I'm going to have to do what I need to do, and I'm going to have to use the alternative, and uh, there's Noah right there. It's called a monkey wrench. Um, and I apologize to all you mechanics that are cringing right now, but it's all I got, so I need to do what I need to do. Okay, after you've loosened that axle nut, then you need to loosen the chain adjusters. All right, that'll take an eight millimeter wrench. You loosen it on both ends, um, that's your next step. See how the chain is loose now? Okay, and then come over here, Noah. Now to remove the nut on the um, disconnect the brake rod. So we do that by removing this nut here, and that's a 14 millimeter. All right, so we remove the nut from the brake rod. It's right there. Next thing to take loose is this cotter pin and this nut and this washer down below uh, it's connecting the, the, the brake assembly to the brake drum to, to uh, the rest of the wheel and we need to get that out of the way so that we can pull the wheel but we still got a ways to go but I'm just trying to take you step by step all right, so we'll get that off. Okay, that's a 12 millimeter nut. So you need a 12 millimeter wrench to get that off. All right? All righty then. Now we're gonna remove this bolt. This is the other side of the axle bolt. We'll back it up with our uh, 22 millimeter wrench that we should have but in my case uh monkey wrench a monkey wrench plumber's wrench whatever you want to call it and uh this on this side i'm using a seven eighths i'm using a seven eighths over here uh, to take it off whatever the metric equivalent of a seven eighths uh it's not a 22 probably a 21 or something, I don't know. I'm not a metric man. But anyway, get what fits and remove this. Alrighty. Now, before I take this all the way out, uh, there's a spacer here. You can see the spacer right there. Um, right there. Right there. There you go. There's a spacer there. And then there's a spacer on the other side. On the other side right there. Uh, you need to be careful to remember which spacer goes on which side. Smaller spacer will go on the right side as you're facing the rear of the motorcycle. Bigger spacer on the left side. Uh, and then, okay, I just want to bring your attention to that before I went ahead and pulled this whole thing off. Well, we got the nut loose on the other side of uh, the axle nut. And uh, it's got a nut and a washer. Don't forget they go together. And while you're out there, you might buy a, a 22 millimeter wrench too, so you don't tear up that nut when you're putting it back on. I think I'm gonna do that. And then I got this pulled out some of the way, and I just thought I'd, I'm gonna be busy here in a minute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this axle. This is the axle rod. We're gonna pull it out. These shims will come out, the shims that I pointed out earlier, they'll come out, they'll fall, and uh, then uh, the tire will be free, so basically you gotta have it supported, um, you know, hold on to it or something, and then you should be able to pull the tire out. If, you, if the bike is high enough off the ground, 
you should be able to get the tire on. So that's that's our final step. We'll uh, uh, resume and putting it back together with the uh, torques and all of that stuff that's required later. But um, that's it for this step. Hallelujah. I'll probably um, just show you the finished project once I get it pulled out. And then we'll go get the tire changed. Praise the Lord. We got it out. Uh, there's the brake assembly. Uh, we had a little bit of difficulty with the um, spacer holding it up, but once we got the spacer cleared, uh, everything came together. So, so praise the Lord, we're going to go take it to the tire shop. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, oh, I'm going to let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.